Hello, my beautiful people. Vertigo here. Oh, there's the camera. Wait. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. Vertigo here once again with a very different video to the norm. You can see we are rotating. You can see some Mountain Dew and a microphone over there, but we're not using that because it turns out uh, I've lost my webcam. So I'm using my phone today. You might be able to see in my specs. Um, we're essentially filming an unboxing slash review video of a toy that looks like a lot of fun. Um, by that I mean it looks alright, it looks pretty cool, it's Jurassic World themed so you can't really go wrong or so I say. Uh, so we'll go ahead and cut to it in a second, I do apologise for any shaker camera work if you want to have a quick look at what's going on here. I'm using, oh it's not going to let you see, I'm just looking at my crotch. Um, okay, let's see if I can like show the cut off, okay you can't see, but actually you can't see, that's not too bad. Um, but I'm using a, uh, uh, watch my flip, a selfie stick, which is pink. So masculinity, am I right? Anyway, let's go ahead and cut straight into it. As you can see straight off the bat, we have the egg fossil excavation kit. My fat thumb is in the way, but you can see pretty much what it says. Discover a hidden dinosaur. Ooh, ooh, to focus. A hidden dinosaur fossil. Sorry about the shakiness, guys. We'll address that shortly anyway. Uh, when we come to a standstill, it will definitely not be a shaky. So any form of motion sickness, I do apologize. Then you have these two things literally look like that. Squeeze those out of that. So that looks reassuring. Basically got a chip at it and uh, that's basically why, let's just have a look at it. Contains excavation egg with dinosaur fossil and digging tools. And those digging tools and that egg are basically why I have covered this. This is my surface for today. It was going to be that. But filming on that was a pain in the bum. So we're filming on this. I have opened it already and I will want to show you something. But this is exactly as how it came packed. I think I've dropped something but hey ho. Yeah. No manual from what I can see straight away. It's been really really sure reassuring so we'll uh, go ahead and get it all out now as well. So this is the contents of the box. Um, a flimsy bit of cardboard. Uh, a stabbing tool that was pointing up right. Another stabbing tool. In fact, what's the real difference of these, I think? Oh, okay, this one is straight. Let's see if it'll focus. No, it will not. <laughs> and that one is jagged. So, I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of fun using them to just actually get this out of freaking bubble wrap. So we'll have to go ahead and do another cut in a second because everyone loves bubble wrap, am I right? Um, but from what I can tell, that's in a picture of some form of sauropod. I have no idea what we're going to get. Um, it does say about things with dinosaurs that roam, swim and fly. Um, maybe hitting at the fact we might have something like that. I hope a Mosasaurus. But we'll soon find out. So we're going to have to do another cut and get this all out. Okay, we're just going to do a quick midway cut. And um, it's wrapped in some form of cellophane like you would with your sound sarnies, your sandwiches, your backs. Depending on where you come from, of course. And straight away you can see something that looks like a skull. I'm going to say it looks a bit like a raptor skull, but I think that's part of the design, as you can see there. But that does not look like that. <laughs> um, it's flat on the back for one, uh, with some sort of indentation. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, there we go, a bit of focus. And it's basically smashed on the inside of this cellophane. So I'm going to open it over the, over the top of this bowl at the very least. Uh, we've had a doorbell ring, so I'm going to quickly check up on the doorbell. So be right back at the same time. Okay, we're going left-handed for this because my right hand, as you can see, is covered in this clay-like substance. It's definitely clay-like and uh, this is the fun part where we're going to start recording. Me trying to break into this thing like a proper paleontologist. In a second, of course. Um, so let's go ahead and get into position. So I'll go ahead and try that out now. There we go. Which one's this one? It's the, uh, it's the jagged one. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Jagged one. So we're going to go ahead and start to jag off the head of the raptor. Oh, boy. Okay. Okie dokie. That's, um, yeah, that's... That's quite sharp if you can't see. Um, right. <laughs> Be back in a second. I'm just going to go at myself. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Would do this again. No regret. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, so we're going to be doing a uh, left-handed thing, I think, for most of this video now. Let's go ahead and... Uh, do a dip. Uh, nope, nope. Come on, get in my legs, guys. Stay in my legs. Yeah, you're between my legs right now. Just feel so proud. Okay, right. Fantastic. What we're going to do... To bring this a bit closer, go to an angle, and I try and carefully, oh, I've left a mark, 
Oh, that's a bone. Right there, look. It's a bone of some description. It looks like a vertebrae. It's gonna. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Okay, well. I think we're after a freaking time lapse. Oh Christ. Okay, let's try. You are literally lip between my legs right now, guys. It's unreal. Okay, look. Okay, this one's a little bit more effective in a second, guys. Oh, I'm so sure paleontologists do this. Oh my god, it's going everywhere. I'm so glad I put this tissue down. <laughs> oh. I know you guys must want to see this so bad, but I assure you, it's a little bit more difficult than it looks. Oh, okay. Kappa. Demazuda. Can I not just drop it in water? I remember these things you could have as a child. You could just drop these sort of things in water, give it a couple of minutes, and hey presto, you have a dinosaur. Now, we have to do all the work associated with it. What's next? I have to carbon date the whole freaking thing. Oh god. Oh god, okay, right. We're going to be very more careful with that, because that's almost getting everywhere. <laughs> Look at that! Look, hold up, let me just... Hey, doing it with my hands did not work. <sighs> okay, they want to sell this to kids. The mess I'm nearly making, like, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared myself, but the mess I could have been making... If you're going to be a kid and do it, have adult supervision. Be supervision, supervision. If you're an adult, can I let your kid do it? Watch them. Watch them a lot. Because you're going to lose your stuff. Or have your stuff stained, regardless. Oh my god, this is... And I'm sorry, but... It's got to be a cheap, easier way to do it. Am I doing it wrong? Let me just try and scrape, maybe. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, my new my new method is... Oh, let's see if I can get it in shot. It's to scrape, like that. Stick a big hole. And cover myself in clay. There you go. Look at that. Got a big old gas right there. You know what? We're going to cut, and I'm going to come back when I'm nearly finished, so be right back. Okay, guys, you can see I've uh, almost um, uncovered the whole thing now. Um, there was a few sacrifices, it took a while, a bit of time, um, I hit my finger again a bit, and the other ones as well. I'm missing a few of them, but it, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I can't really tell what it is. Um, it's obviously a theropod of some description, I'm pretty sure. In fact, I should be able to pull it from there now. Ugh. Maybe not. What's it? It's been caught. Because one of his legs is caught. Because it's still buried. Oh, God, there goes more clay. Come on. Come on. Well, almost, is all I can say. Almost in the green. Look, it's right there. Why wouldn't it come on? Come on. Ah. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie! Right. Okay, just like me, he's been slightly neutered, as you can see, um, right about there. There you go, you see it? Right there. His leg is, um, his foot is still in there, but he can still lead a good life. Uh, I think he might be, I don't know what he is, in fact. Um, it looks like he's standing on two legs, but he also looks like he's, I don't know, it looks like a horse, almost. I'm kind of at loss. If you guys know what they are, they really should include some sort of fact file about what it is, because it'd be a bit more educational for kids rather than them chipping away at clay for about 30 minutes and making a mess everywhere and possibly losing valuable things. But hey ho. Anyway, guys, as you can see, it's um quite a uh, it's quite moulded nicely. It's it's not too bad. Uh, it's got a, bit of a hollow rib cage which had a, a lump of clay in it earlier, as you can probably see. Um, but in all honesty, review wise, is it worth it? Um, for what I had to pay for it in many ways, more than one, in fact it was a Christmas present so I had to pay for it in probably just one way, um, I'd say for the kids, for a bit of fun, yes, for the mess that has to be dealt with afterwards, or you know, um, everything else, maybe not, but that's just me. You guys might enjoy it. You guys might be able to tell me what the hell it was, because, to be quite frank, 
I don't know. Um, so, <laughs> if you've enjoyed the video, guys, drop a like down below. I would give a thumbs up right now, but I'm pretty sure my thumb is in the sink at the moment. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and join my beautiful people. Maybe I'll do more unboxings slash reviews in the future. I have no idea. Maybe I won't. The reason I've had to use this, guys, I would have done first person. I've done it from an angle like this, maybe. But, of course... I couldn't find a tripod, so I've had to stick with a pink selfie stick. But I'm okay with that, guys, so it's all good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day, and ta -ra!